Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Matim Show. I'm Tim. And I'm MP. Matim Gang! <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Matim Gang? <laughs> Alright, um, today is a very not beautiful day. <laughs> yeah, but it's yeah. been... It's been like sunny the past few days, so now I feel like it's depression back. We, we, yeah, both of us are very down, I would say, for other it's reasons. It's not down, besides, we're besides, I'm besides, mad. Yeah, yeah, I'm mad too, but like besides the weather, we, we have uh, personal problems that we will not talk about in this podcast. <laughs> but still. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just no, know if, if we're no, not we're our, not in a bad mood. Honestly, we're not in a bad mood. We're not in a bad mood. We're just like... Talking about stuff We're passionate before. about certain exactly. topics. Exactly. Exactly. And how we're yeah. pissed about it. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the mic. Uh, okay. Um, today, we're going to talk about media. Yay! Uh, but, you guys were wondering what we were uh, going to talk about. Uh, media literacy. But no, uh, more, more precisely. Surprise. More precisely, we're going to talk. We're going to go a little bit more in depth into into what into how media portrays certain groups of people or yeah but we're kind of yeah we're, we've been doing this for the past like nine weeks so now it's kind of a we're gonna summarize what it's, yeah it's more of a today. summary yeah yeah so I it's think. a summary of like uh how diversity is um portrayed in media and yeah, yeah and all the key features of media like how media have a, a cultural implications uh, as well as a, how it linked how, with money and yep, how it creates unconscious bias and yeah, yeah come on. all that good stuff <laughs> exactly so that's so. basically what we're going to talk about today we have i think we're going to go in depth with two of the questions that we we're supposed to answer, mm -hmm. weren't we? <laughs> yes. The first one being, how do othering, stereotyping, and invisibility relate, uh, create implicit slash unconscious bias? So for you, for, for all of you who do, for all of you who don't know what othering is, it's basically um, targeting a specific group of people and turning them into, like trying to portray them as something uh as people who aren't human like you wouldn't see yeah. them as humans you would see them as criminals or um anything that's yeah not, less than yeah than the people you know around you like the people yeah, uh, yeah the less than human like you, you yeah said, you wouldn't you wouldn't you wouldn't think good or well of them basically yeah. but and it's so, yeah it's not only like how you see them, but it's also as well, well, yes, how you see them, but also in the articles, how they're portrayed in the articles and mm -hmm. the news uh, yeah. on media and everything. There's also, well, stereotyping is stereotypes. And invisibility is basically shutting a, a specific group out of media so you wouldn't know they existed there. Or basically turning them into the abnormal like i've never seen these people so they shouldn't exist They're, that's not normal right mm -hmm. uh but yes i do believe well yes they do create implicit and unconscious bias but how of they course. do it is well othering as we as we mentioned it's it's really like um uh making thinking that they're less than human, right? So what yeah. they would do is, for example, uh, we were looking at an article saying, uh, these two white people, okay, like you see in a picture, two white people and they're described as, oh, they're looking for food, like during like a, a, cat, a catastrophe, right? So they're looking mm -hmm. for food, but the same, the same um, media portrays an African-American who's also looking for food as looting. So here you see that the white people, they're not criminals. They're just looking for food. They're finding food, right? But the African-American is seen as a criminal because looting is very, uh, a negative term, right? Looting is like, yeah. you're basically- It has stealing. a negative connotation. Yeah. 
you're, you're you're basically stealing from other people's house sis. and that's that's and like if you always see these things like oh white people are the good people and uh, african americans no they're they're looters they're criminals right they're killers murderers etc yeah so, eventually it turns you it turns people to laugh at certain characters exactly or, or fear them even no yes and yeah not not only they do that in media but like in video games or movies and everything like uh african-american people would be more portrayed as the bad guy the criminal the gangster the uh um the person that turns into a monster uh, and kills people right but the white people yeah. would always be portrayed as of oh, the hero the protagonist the the person who's gonna save the city the the person who's gonna well kill the bad guy who is usually the african-american so again, it's white, good, uh, African American, bad, right? Yeah. And these things, they, they, they just you, you see it every day. You see it in every uh, types of media, right? You see it in videos, media, uh, news, uh, social media, everything. Every like every headline, it's always, oh, for white people, oh, uh, let's 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 say, um, um, school shooters, right? They're always like mass murders or, or school shooters, if it's a white person, you, you can look this up. It's always going to say, this person has a mental Ill illness. Mm -hmm. But if it's a person of color, murderer, uh, this person killed like uh, 50 people, etc. I mean, both of them are bad. But saying that the white person has a mental illness, but the uh, person of color is a killer, it's like both of them are killers. Right. Yeah. And you can see, you see this a lot everywhere and it's, it creates like implicitly you're going to think that, okay, p people of color are bad and white people, they're just, they just have mental illnesses and that's even downplaying men men people with uh, mental illnesses. You're going to yeah. think that every, every people who have mental illnesses are prone to be violent, which isn't true because most, most of the time, People with mental illnesses are victims of abuse, are victims of other people um, because they have this mental illness, right? And you see them, you see it like this phenomenon in the film Joker. Exactly. Joker or, yeah, Joker, exactly. Oh like, my God, that was a the best whole, movie The too. whole movie, he yeah. just wants help. He just needs, he needs help. But like... And there, her, I think the social worker is not helping him because she doesn't have the resources to do so yeah and what he, yeah one she doesn't have the resources so you and she doesn't care she obviously doesn't care but like yeah if she did care she 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 would have tried even without the resources but like it's 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 a yeah and in the bus when he's in the bus and he's just laughing because he cannot Dude, I, help I was it. that that movie like that movie it, was so sad that, oh, that man, movie was so me. sad like my heart broke into a million pieces when yeah. i saw this movie because just in there he's just laughing and the little girl is just looking at him like ha 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 okay laughing and the mother is like no don't look at him he's crazy mm -hmm. blah 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 why but like you're shaping your daughter to think that people who are laughing or have mental illnesses are crazy and you cannot are necessarily be bad them. yeah are necessarily yeah. bad people right so Again, that like that's portraying him as. Well, also the the movie made turn him like well, it's Joker, so it turned him yeah, to yeah, like, yeah. the worst possible like uh, super villain, and you're like, yeah, but, yo. <laughs> but then, I, mean, I mean, I get it, but like they have, like yeah, not. But if you're always like being the victim of abuse, exactly. and always people are always laughing at you, They're, you're prone to yeah. like do something not bad, but something that can turn again the people who laughed at you the whole time mm -hmm. and that movie was so well made and like oh yeah the actor uh joking phoenix i think yeah like that man is amazing because the whole time you're rooting for a villain well technically he's not a villain yet but like you see like the abuse and you're rooting for them even at the end when like he turns completely psycho and like he starts killing people right and mm -hmm. you're like you're kind of rooting for him because you're like hey 
like I I see I I saw your pain and like I'm happy. They for you. deserved like, it. Yeah. Exactly. But you're like, whoa, wait, wait, wait a second. This so now not, you're encouraging violence. You're, exactly. They but like, it, but like, yeah. They but don't... when you think about it, you're like, wait, that's that's not good though. No. And yeah. Maybe it's just no, but cause... I see in every movie, in every situation, there's two sides that you need to look like. You need to analyze the situation. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in this one, there there's a side where uh, he's been, it's been like a victim of abuse the, his whole life. So like, it's kind of, you kind of understand why you do it and like it's normal and the, the people deserve it. But on the other side, you just see it and you're like, nah, you can like answer, you can answer violence to violence by violence like no, it's it's, not, yeah you can't not you can't, the way you're supposed to act if you do eye for an eye we'll just turn the world blind yeah know? and see i i know my i know my quotes now yeah be the change you want to see in, in the world <laughs> be the person <laughs> be the, your dog thinks dog. you are <laughs> but uh yeah um we're talking about othering right yeah yeah so but yeah it, it helps shape our perception of what is acceptable and unacceptable. So that's mm -hmm. why, I mean, you it's, need to develop inclusive attitude in the, you need to, in the yeah, you need to understand, creating. as you said, like you, you need to like to see the bigger, the bigger picture, right? Don't look yeah. just at the trees, look at the, the whole forest. Like, yeah, exactly. Open your view and see the world because. And the, the whole point of the internet right now is that you can look up everything that you, that you're everything. looking for or that you're wondering about. So, but it's be careful kind of and be careful and don't, yeah, but don't look at the sources, look like, at the sources, uh, check many sources because you never know. But yeah, I, I agree with what you're saying. The whole point is that you can look everything up. So, I mean, why would you limit yourself at just what you see in the media or even if there's a lack Your of media research. coverage, no. you can, you could always go look it up yourself. And yep. like you said, look, look up more than one source to, just make sure that you have to verify like, verify because it's very easy to produce um well, fake news basically yeah I'm trying to say because it's it's easy to say well this person did this where's the evidence you need your sources you need like evidence concrete evidence right and one thing that i found interesting in the um, in the video that we listened to before the mm -hmm. before recording was that before adults can help young people develop inclusive attitude and challenge discriminatory behaviors. We have to recon rec recognize, sorry, our own prejudices and attitudes mm -hmm. before. Of course, like don't, you, you can't teach someone something if you don't believe in it, right? Like Exactly. It's not, because monkey do monkey, monkey see monkey do, right? Like yeah. you might be saying like, do, don't, you can't, you can't be like, do what I say and not what I do, right? Because yeah. you, you can't do that. It's one, it's hypocritical. And two, they're obviously going to follow you. Yeah. Are worth more than words. Like, oh, yeah. hey, don't, don't um, be nice to other people. But like, meanwhile, you're mean to everyone around you. Yeah. Like, of course, they're, they're going to uh, become mean. Not everyone, of course, because it depends on your personality. But like, kids are easily influenced and yeah but i'm not gonna go in depth with this subject but there's one situation right know, now in the media and it's Goodness really gracious. about this because it's a it's I know, journalists who say they are like a, can, we, can we say can we say like what i'm just gonna oh, yeah we we can we can really look up right look at lcn it is elizabeth Rio and like yeah. just just watch it and See for yourself. Yeah, see for yourself. I feel like the people, Which... they're not saying the whole story. She was a, a victim of abuse by her yes. boyfriend the whole time. And it happened. They talked like, about it for three seconds. And then and they all start they to... say is that she, she showed her ass on Instagram. And like, basically, it's like if she showed her ass, then she deserved it. But the one of the women, like one of the journalists, she says she's a, she's, for the feminist movement movement and she's for helping like women and everything but she's the first one to she's the first one to like judge and make uh, the person feel bad about what happened and i think she had a lot of 
we don't know the okay yeah, guys we don't know the whole story i mean we're never gonna yes. know the whole story but the thing is how can you teach your children to be open-minded and to um to seek for resources when you're bashing the person who did it and when, yeah you see on tv like oh these people are bashing this person so technically i could do it too because like who would allow bashing on tv well it's allowed so i can do it as well right and the whole point was that she was abused. It wasn't that she no, showed exactly. her ass on Instagram or that she had a that she has a lot of uh, followers on mm -hmm. Instagram as well. It, it's it's yeah. about the fact that she was like she came forward and she said that she was a victim of abuse, which is kind of a it's a such a big deal. And I'm, I think I think it's crazy because it's so difficult for people to come out as like victims. And like you mm -hmm. hear a lot of stories of oh I like uh people telling their stories three, four, five years after they've been like uh, abused or anything. And now we're just making fun of the person that j like that, that um, came out with her story, right? Mm -hmm. You're like, oh, okay. I see why no one like talks about it anymore because like we're just going to get ridiculed for something else. Oh, well, yeah. you shouldn't have shown your ass because, well, you, you showed your ass. So you're kind of asking for it, you know, like stupid. Oh. I'm sorry. It's, I, honestly, I was so mad this morning because I read about the whole thing. Well, I learned about the whole thing like two days ago. It, it's really new. It's not something like, because we knew she was broken up with her boyfriend, but we didn't know why. And she said, guys, mm -hmm. I'm not going to talk about it. It's not your business. It's that, that kind of, I mean, not, even if you're a business. public person, like it's, it's, it's not, you don't have to show it. If you want to show it for, it's fine. I mean, it's your choice and we're not going to, we were not wondering about that. I think people were like DM'd or DM'd her about it. And like, well, it's not your business. So just. It's, it, it's because her boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend, he was yeah. coming out with stories and because she wasn't replying, she looks kind of bad. And now she No, but she was the reply. bigger person. I think that now I know, we can no, see no, that she was the bigger 100 person. hundred percent she was thing. the bigger person because she has the right to not talk about it. But yeah, because she's like so big and like, uh, her ex is big as well, and he's talking about it. But she, she's not talking about it. She looks uh, bad in this case. Yeah. And it's not her fault. And no, exactly. But it, but then there's like, so much that people can take from another person before responding, and I think that's mm -hmm. what she did. I I'm, I don't think that media is the best way to like. Well, I mean, she did. She didn't. Yeah, she did have a choice, but I mean, it was. She got done in a different way, but. Still, I feel like, it, I mean, I feel what's like a it's a different way. No, what's I know, it? but like, no, but like, I don't know. I feel like a video would have been better, but like, the yeah. thing, the thing with stories, it's is that it's the media right now. Like, it's the way to push, like, to tell your story, right? Because mm -hmm. every like, it's very easy to just look up, like, read the the story instead of watching a twenty thirty minute video because we don't know how long the video would have been. And for me, yeah, I, I could have been a long video because I mean, mm -hmm. she's been, it's been a long time coming. No, no, like, of course, of course. And all, yeah. And it's easier to control your emotions when you're typing it. Yeah. Instead of like doing it in front of a video, you, she could have done yeah, it. Yeah, like, but I mean, you can edit it. You can put, you can just cut the, the things that you say. You think it's the things that are. I know, but you have to think that people. Passionate about. People, people will say, well, she cut the video. It's not authentic. Yeah. You know what True. I mean? Like it's it's very it's a very like slippy slope and slippery but slippery any, slope. <laughs> slippery slope. <laughs> but I mean, like in every situation, like she, I feel like she was very brave to talk no, about it. Yes. And we like, we don't know the whole story, yeah. but the yeah. thing is, why does media like a big network decide to talk about it and it's misinformation? And not, the thing is. They decide to talk about it, but they don't talk about it. And you're like, why, why bring it, why bring it up, and just start bashing the person instead? You're like, what? That doesn't make any sense. Bashing yeah, the big, bashing her and the, the, her kid and her friend. What? That doesn't yeah, make any you sense. Can, <laughs> you consider yourself a journalist, and a journalist like reports information like with facts, and it's not facts. about. Yes. It's not about like bashing a person or just like saying your personal opinion. We don't care about that. The we don't thing care is, about you. It was that she she was a victim of abuse, and you only talked about her has the whole time and how many followers she has on Instagram. 
and like how give us the facts and talk about it with your friend after if you want and after she thinks she talks about the video of her pregnancy which she showed which she posted on youtube and she said oh my god she, she we see her like get into labor and it's making me uncomfortable but why are you, you watching watch it. it it's not for you you what know for you? you know exactly what labor looks like you know like all the stories people say you're like i'm 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 what i'm in my 20s and i know that it's disgusting to watch i'm not gonna watch it you're like they look older they're they're probably older than me they should know <laughs> they should know yeah it's just a mother herself that's exactly. the thing <laughs> you're a mother and you're incurred if you're doing it what do you think your daughter or her son will be doing like yeah. i don't know and my mom then talks after about you it see on it, tv i'm gonna do the same thing shit oops but exactly if you can do it on tv why shouldn't i do it why can't myself? i do it my mom did it on tv i can do it too exactly and, and the thing is expect- it's not only this interview it's another thing it's another podcast which she's talking with a another man another journalist and this time they're talking about the her daughter's name because the, the girl in question she had a daughter with her ex-boyfriend or whatever and she the name is wolfie okay but i mean it's our choice it's we don't care there's there's not like a, um, a norm that you have to call your daughter or son like this specific name you can choose mm-hmm. the name that you want so why would you make fun of someone's name and we're teaching our we, we're teaching the younger generations to be polite and to be respectful and to be open-minded and now you're bashing someone's name which is not even the situation itself yeah, all, it's not, all, all that all that all that stuff about anti-bullying and uh oh we need our kids are being bullied and stuff oh yeah 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 but you're bullying other people on live tv okay i see you i see you honestly it makes me like, so talk, mad and that's why i was talk about bullying is bad if you do it yourself yeah like, that's, that's hypocritical and it, it's counterproductive because yeah. you're like hey don't bully other people yeah they could be different but now you're but like if their name is weird you can you can laugh about it on live tv it's crazy because you're pushing people to go like 10 steps forward and like moving on and being more open-minded and then with this kind of interviews or podcasts or whatever then we're going back 20 steps uh, just because like it doesn't make any sense why would you want change when you're pushing for things to stay the same or even worse yeah anyways that was i was i was so mad this morning about it and it was and it was so crazy because i knew we were recording the podcast so i was like I need to control myself about this situation because i i was so mad to talk about it but like yeah i think it's important to, to talk right, about it's this important to talk about as it teachers as teachers we need to talk about these things it, w- it like- would have been the first thing that i would have talked in my classroom this morning forget everything that was planned i would have talked about media and how Teach it about was it the portrayed whole, in- the whole day oh honestly it would have been yeah. the, the whole day because i'm I'm not passionate about well, it. Yes, passionate about it, but it's more about like not spreading mis- disinformation, misinformation, and like really getting the facts and like to be open-minded and and, and saying that these kinds of interviews can just can happen like, and be shown to the whole world. Well, the whole exactly. Promise. Well, LCN is a is a big uh, net uh, TV network. It's not just so. Who do you think watches this? The the older people. And who are the ones who, I'm not saying that they don't want change, but who are the ones who are more, the most difficult to change their attitude? Oh. Not, well, I'm not saying something, but you know. Like, I'm just saying that these group of people are saying that the youth are impolite. And, but I'd be seeing that the youth being hella polite. I'm just saying we see please and thank you when we go to McDonald's, but I see some, uh, some older folks not do that. They be hella, they be hella, they be hella mean to like uh, the, the, the the cashiers and stuff, man. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, so that's what the uttering is bad. <laughs> <laughs> uttering is bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think we could. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we could talk but, about stereotyping and invi- invisibility for a bit as well, because <laughs> we went on a long tangent. Yeah, I know, but it was, just, it was related to this subject. It was related because we did talk about how the media, like, 
of course it's going to push an unconscious bias. People are talking about it on live TV. Of course I'm going to think about that as well. Yeah. yeah, she she showed her butt. She deserves it. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't think that. That's bad. It's but well, you're pushing the um not the rape mentality, but like the you're pushing like oh it's okay. She was asking for it. She showed her ass. So for sure she was yeah. asking for it mm-hmm. to be not not rape, but she was asking for it. Like it's her problem. It's not. Not the guy, the guy's problem who went on her even though like it wasn't her intention. No, because she was showing herself and she's, mm-hmm. it's her problem. And it's a picture too. Like, yeah. Think about it for yourself. It's a photo shoot. Honestly, like, like think what's real or what's not real. Like, yeah. Yeah. But, so. Yeah, stereotyping, right? Uh <laughs> Lots of stereotypes that you can see on like TV and uh, well, any uh, any media, actually. They're gonna push this stereotype that um, these type of people do this like that. Yeah, but and you know the thing is, it's, a, it's it's a bit about money. So if for 30 years you have been promoting the fact that in video games, uh, I don't know, like. Uh, uh, black what? people are criminals and everything, so you're gonna still do it because you know it's selling. So why yeah, would you? The white, yeah, the the white person on the cover is the protagonist, and of, yeah, yeah, the main hero is always white because it sells. Yeah. So why would you change a winning formula? You know. No, of course. You don't. should, but why would you? I know, and yeah, we can talk about that on on the next thing. But um, also invisibility. It's basically just making a certain group of people feel like they don't actually exist. So let's say a a lack of media coverage. mm -hmm. So let's say like, I don't know, um, gay people in the media. I think they talked about how, I don't remember who was the first openly gay um, character in a show, but like, but in my head, it's in Modern Family, but I don't think it's Modern Family because it was oh. in 2007, so. Uh, I don't. Because I saw the Modern Family, like, picture. Mm-hmm. I, saw, the... I saw the picture as well. But yeah, uh, basically, it's just saying that, well, well, I don't know what the, st- the, st- the stats are, but they're basically saying, well, you're basically creating this 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 like unconscious bias that well there's only like one person w- one gay person in media so they're probably not normal it's not normal to be gay right because you're see... at least five percent of the population that's what i remember Up, yeah like. something like that right yeah but like it's ba- it's yes it is a small margin but like it doesn't mean that they're not normal right it's you can't say that this person doesn't exist or like it's not normal to be uh this type of person or like have this sexual uh, sexuality or anything just because you don't see it enough but like because we don't see it enough we think it's not normal mm-hmm. well and you're not exposed to it so you're no you don't exactly even you're not exposed to it. what it is about yeah yeah especially if you don't know any like gay people around you or like it doesn't have to be gay people like uh, Asian people or black people or like uh, uh, Latinos or anything and you're like well you can even like merge this with stereotyping like oh they do this type of things or like they eat this or they do this or they they're good at this or they're bad at this or they're all this like if you don't know if you're not around these type of people these ethnicities you won't know and you might think that this is normal this is not normal etc yeah. but the, the thing is if you you're not exposed to it you're just gonna yeah. you're gonna deny that any problem exists you're just because it's like uh, you know the when you're in a store and there's always that one client who's like where's the price i don't see it so it must be free so it's the same thing for when like you don't you're not exposed to it well it was a pretty bad example but it, it's in the sense that if you don't know that <laughs> if you don't know that there is like I don't know. You're not exposed to these people. They don't exist for you. And it's, there is no prejudices against them. There is nothing you're, there's not, there's no, well, I mean, these people are, are not nothing for you, but like, 
you, they're just not in your the back of your mind or anything. Yeah. It's not. Oh, well, it goes back to it's not normal for you. So. Yeah. It's not in the norm to be this. Like I could, I can make fun of these people because they're not the norm. Oh and, yeah. So in that case. Or yeah. But. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's in my opinion, in our opinion, how these three types of stuff <laughs> create implicit and conscious bias. It's the exposure that we get and the exposure that we don't get, basically. Yeah, good and bad exposures are, are this, well, are not the same, main things but, we're trying to Yeah, because you know, in, even in politics, they say that bad publicity or bad uh, exposures is- It's still is, publicity, yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's still good, so, but so. So how can content creators work to create more authentic, diverse characters in their videos or, you know? Okay, yeah. okay, I'm going. I, I, no, I, thought, I thought you were going to answer it. <laughs> okay, so I, I thought you, I, I was just saying the question, but- um, Yeah, yeah, I, I thought you were going to say it after. <laughs> but like, like I said, before creating content or anything, uh, we should have to recognize our own prejudices and attitudes before, so it wouldn't influence what we're doing, what we're creating, or what we're we have in mind. Yeah. Um, I think we should avoid avoid both stereotyping and portraying them, by certain people as just the same as members of the majority, because they're not the same. But the thing is, you cannot. If you want an authentic portrayal of diversity, uh, you sh you have to know that their race, religion, sexual orientation, and ability are not a they they are an essential parts of their person, but it, it does not define them. No, exactly. So I mean, mm -hmm. if you're portraying a an homosexual guy, yes, it's part of him. I mean, it's essential to who he is. But the fact that he's gay doesn't define him in the show. Like there's more. No, exactly. To it. Like being homosexual is not. I don't want to. Like, they're not all the same. They they they're not always, like, uh, flamboyant or like uh, they they love, they have a girl best friend or they they uh, they like uh, musicals and stuff. Some people yeah. are, are like that, but like some people are like that and aren't gay either, right? Mm -hmm. Like just because you're, uh, you have a sexual preference doesn't define who you are as a person. Yeah, exactly. Right? Or in the fact that you're black or you're or you're Asian doesn't mean that like for Asian, for example, they like rice. Doesn't mean that all people like eat rice every day and that if they their favorite meal like it's yeah for sure like I mean some for yes. sure people eat it. It, but it depends I, on how like. Like, it depends on the culture, right? Because if exactly. some some Asian people would will eat rice every day, but that's just because that's the food that they like. That's the food they grew up with, and mm -hmm. that's what they like to eat, and that's fine. And but that you can't say that every single day that they eat rice. Like every Asian, every single day they eat rice. That's that's not true. I eat spaghetti sometimes. I eat uh, tacos sometimes. Like, yeah. yes, I eat a lot of rice, but that's just because we make a lot of food that uh, has rice involved. But, like, I eat other other food as well. It's not just rice 24-7. Right? So that would be important if mm -hmm. to include it in a, in a TV show or in a video or in a... Yeah. Because I feel like as of now, even young people here, and I feel like in St. Yassine sometimes it's... Kind of, we're kind of far. Well, forty-five minutes from Montreal, so sometimes kind of, there's kind of prejudices, and people like the youth are stereotyping as well, like, which I thought wasn't. Uh, they did it. They did not do it anymore. But like I noticed it during my internship that they did, which was my main objective to change it. And like I think it's important to show all the sides of the mm -hmm. the of the person and like. It, yes, it's part of them, but it does not define them. It doesn't mean like when you're black, you're just a criminal. Like, come on. Like, or okay, you're white, so you like hockey. 
Like, does it, does it define I've you? I've never no? heard that stereotype before. Really? <laughs> you're white. Well, so you like hockey. You're Canadian. Okay, Canadian. <laughs> Canadian likes hockey. Yeah, they do, but I it doesn't that. define them. I mean, like, no, of course. part of them, it's part of their culture, but it's not, not every Canadian likes hockey or like it's their favorite sport or something. Mm -hmm. But still. I just, but, uh, yeah, go for it, sorry. Oh, no. No, I was just going to say, like, you were talking about Saint Saint earlier, and I just, I, I was just reminded of every time I, I went up north, like, uh, to visit Kaho's family, like, I, I was the, I was like a, a celebrity, <laughs> everyone would turn their heads like, oh, who is that? Because it's all, it's like, they, they're, they rarely see, like, uh, oh, yeah, for sure. There. And it's, like, it's, you understand why, because there's, it's only white people over there. It's only like uh, white people who work on on like farms or like they're hunters. They're, they're most of them men. racist. I, I'm not gonna say most of them are racist because I I don't know. I will. There. <laughs> I will because my family lives there. They live like I'm 30 not... minutes from Carol's family, so I know how they are. And okay, it's, it's okay, a, but I'm not gonna say it's cause, a constant cause, fight. But because so. everyone I met, the actually no, that's that's not true. <laughs> I did have a few uh, racist moments with some people, but. <laughs> but I mean, that's the thing but that it's, they don't it's know not, better. They, it's the a lack it's, of exposure. Yeah, it's not. It's not that they're racist. They're, they, they're just not. It's the lack of exposure. It's all ancult, basically. Exactly. Like they don't know. It's not. It's not. They're not trying to be mean or like racist. They just do it, but like not on purpose because that's who they are as people. That's how they think. And that's what they're exposed to. They, like, yeah, you know but I mean? the thing is that they're imitating what they have learned exactly. with their parents and their grandparents mm -hmm. and their family. Because I know like my, one of my cousin is this way because our family is, his family is this way and their yeah. family, his, their well, yeah, family it, before was this way. So it's kind of just a lack of exposure and like a knowledge and it's yeah they, they, they it's see, not by choice they I, see I don't it every day like so they're gonna imitate their parents right so exactly it's it's normal as i said earlier i'm not i'm not i'm not saying they're monkeys but like monkey see monkey do right yeah like they see something and they're gonna do it of course uh, of course you're gonna follow your parent like what they do what they see you like most people are exposed to their parents like for many for many hours a day yeah Right. I, I like, feel like I would I would have been the same if I was there because I would have been exposed to the people I know now or the knowledge that I have now. So mm -hmm. I feel like the fact that I went to this, of course, this yeah, living in Montreal because because you live in Montreal, yeah, you used to live in Montreal for a bit, right? So yeah, of course exactly. you're going to be exposed to like the melting pot of Quebec. Yeah, it's just like but so it changes diverse. your opinion and then mm -hmm. it change it changes the way you think and like of course so that's why I feel like yeah. I changed because I feel like if I would have stayed with my, like, not, well, not now, but before, or if I would have stayed with the same group of friends, like, it's not, it's not against them. It's, it's not, it's really not an attack or something, but I feel like I would have maybe stayed in my own circle, like in my own head. And I would have had prejudice against people that I, I would have talked about it, but it wouldn't like, would have been, I don't know how to say it, but it would have been an intentional on my part since do mm -hmm. you know what i mean like i would have stayed in the same circle so i would have expand my horizon and no yeah I would yeah have stayed the same so i feel like it, it wouldn't be because you were like trying to do it in a mean way it's just because you, you don't know any better you don't know exactly like, so you don't i know. think it's the it's most of the population is like this it's not not sometimes they're it's, it, they're not mean. like we can talk about it again. It, they're not exposed to the right things. Like yeah. if we go back to the LCN thing, and you see that this person is bashing victims, of course you're gonna think that's normal to do. Yeah. Right? Like things like that. Like as we talked about othering, stereotyping, invisibility. If you see like the coverage of oh, two white people were uh, finding food in like uh, during the ca catastrophe, and you see like a black person, and it says. Um, Oh, the African American man was looting. Like you're gonna think, okay, all black people are um, criminals. All all uh, African Americans are bad people. Yeah. Like, that's all you're exposed to. You like 
if there are no uh, African Americans or uh, like any any people of color around you, you're not you're not gonna know that they're not all like this. Not everyone is like that. Like, mm -hmm. like yeah. It's so it, yeah. It's, it's all about exposure. It's a vicious circle. Huh? It's it's horrible. But you know what? Be the change you want to see in the world. Be the Start dog. somewhere. Be the but, person your dog. Be, be the person you, your dog thinks you are. But um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, just to go back to the uh, how content creators could create more authentic, diverse characters. I I'd say research more about the culture of these yeah. people you're trying to portray, right? But also research um, mixed people. Like, uh, let's say someone like me, who is, who I have my Cambodian culture, like my Asian heritage, but also I'm also a Quebecer, right? So I'm a mix of both. So these yeah. type of people, like, we exist, we exist. Mm -hmm. And they should have more people like that. Yeah, I agree. Even we could, you know, because sometimes it's only one person who, who controls and create yeah. the the content well, so you should put it, the prediction should put in into the ends of more people even the distribution distribution and everything so you i think use like, yeah have diverse people uh choose the cast members choose like create uh, like uh, diverse cultural writers as well right because they're gonna write the mm -hmm. characters and stuff and don't always make the Asian Asian guy who's oh he's good at math he does martial arts etc right like that's not yeah. true I I don't do any of those <laughs> <laughs> I don't do any of those I'm not good at math I'm okay at math but I'm not like two two Tim I don't know <laughs> <laughs> wait do it again do it again I'm I'm very two plus two. I don't no <laughs> I don't think you were gonna say two plus two I was gonna say four uh, well oh. so. Uh, as well, this you should think about the technical. There's technical considerations, like in video games, for example, you could create diverse storyline, or even when you when the people have the opportunity to customize their character, should put in more like yeah diverse uh, diversification in the custom custom customization. customization list. Yeah. Yeah. But it depends on what type of game you're playing, though. Because if you're playing like role-playing games, like that customization, crazy. Uh, if you're talking about, um, yeah, but most of the time it's more one than yeah. It's more. But if you play like games like COD or stuff, I don't, I haven't played those in a while. But I, I know now you could play uh, female characters. Because back then you you could you couldn't choose a female character as the person you're playing. But now yeah, you have the choice. Well. Uh, you can talk about the Assassin's Creed as well. Like uh, it used to be always like uh, a male, right? But now you can choose to be a male or a female or I don't know about the customization, but a new one just came out. And but yeah, it's they're all about uh, customization. And everything like I like how you're talking about it. But they've been they they've started doing that a lot now. So that's good. That's a good change. Yeah, that's a good change for sure. Mm, and you said it. I think when casting reality TV shows, use the opportunity for better diversity portrayal. Choose different characters, different well, mm -hmm. characters, not different characters. I mean, different characters, people. <laughs> different people, and like use this opportunity to yeah. People it's like love uh, reality mm -hmm. show. Like they they Are they, <laughs> they trying to do it this year? I haven't watched it, but like they tried to have a more Neither. diverse um, selection of people. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I haven't watched it, so I can't say for sure. But I know there are a lot more. Uh, it's a lot more culturally diverse. Yeah. I remember, like uh, looking at the the candidates, and I think they're they're going towards the the right path. But I haven't watched it this year. But I know there there was a lot of drama recently. But um, I, I don't know. I I'm it's been three A girl years. cheated. I, huh? She was a girl what? cheated. Like she they cheated. cheated. On what? Because uh, basically uh, Oh, okay, you yeah, mean yeah, the girl you know like what you're she talking looked about. on her iPad like, yeah, information on the information about yeah. the candidates. Yeah, okay, yeah. That is hmm. Dude, she still is is she still on the show? Oh she 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 got booted. She didn't get booted at well, technically she, she was offered an 
ultimatum, and she had to oh. leave. Yeah. Oh. It was either oh, you girl. leave or we kick you out or they they kick you out. Yeah. I would. Uh, what you expect though? Know. Like you cheat in the game and come on. Well, if you cheat in a game not as important as all day, where are you gonna cheating? Like, are you gonna be cheating in yeah. life? <laughs> no, that's why, yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> cheating in life. Life uh, lesson here, people. <laughs> yeah, don't cheat unless. No, don't cheat. Unless you're at all day. <laughs> okay, let me tell you why I think cheating is bad, okay? Even though I, I do it as well sometimes. Not at school, Damn. not at school. Okay. Not, my, not with my relationships either. What the heck? Okay. Tripping. I... Continue. Okay. Uh, no. Okay. So, why we shouldn't cheat? Like, you could cheat in your exam, right? Oh, yeah. But humans are creatures of habit. And yeah, you could cheat in this exam. But, like, if you cheat and you pass, you're going to say, well, I passed and I cheated. I could do it again. So, you're just going to do it again. And let's say you're an engineer, you're in engineer school, right? And you're cheating mm -hmm. on your exam. Yeah, that's fine. You can look at the other person next to you. But like, once you get your job as an engineer, who are you going to cheat off of? Yourself. Yourself, so exactly. Like, I, I don't want to be, I don't want to be like on a cheater's plane. Yeah, me neither. You know what I mean? Like, they're going to cut corners. Mm-hmm. I don't, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Well, if you cut corners, I, something not important, well, you're going to do it your whole life. So don't start yeah. it. Just, just take the, the, the long way. <laughs> we're going to make, we're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I feel, I feel like that's probably the thing you could do to uh, create more authentic, diverse characters. I, I mean, just push up for change people to portray like the what's really happening in the world what yeah did we talk about how uh the money part i think we talked about the money thing right really yeah there was one people controlling no wasn't it no? yeah kind yeah yeah but ba basically what i wanted to say is don't do it for the money of course money is cool but like if you want to see change in the world you, you can't do it for the money that can't yeah. be your like your priority because you have to you have to be the change you want to see in the world so you, you, you you're gonna have to make that sacrifice and make the change and maybe you're not gonna reap the rewards from it but like in the future maybe having this like diverse authentic diverse characters it's gonna be the norm because you started something and with a chain reaction okay, yeah, the first year, no one did it. The second year, oh, they saw your movie and they're like, okay, yeah, we should do that too. And they're like, and it just trickles down, right? Yeah. And then everyone does it. Exactly. Yeah, just I approve of this message. Be the change you want to see in the world. Okay? Be the person. Gandhi, your dog Timothy. You are. <laughs> be, be the person your dog uh, thinks you are. And yeah. I looked it up. That's a real quote. Really? For me? Yeah, it's bit, I don't know. I just, For I just, you? it's not. You just me. added on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> so but okay. yeah. But yeah, because yeah. basically, okay, be, be the, your, your dog thinks you deserve love. You deserve love. You are worth it. Okay. Just your do dog it. Just loves you. Change one thing. So. Start small. Just believe, believe that you, you deserve to be loved and busy. We're not talking about the same thing right now. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're always escalating. <laughs> I'm still on my dog quote. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, I feel like it was a, this week was a really passionate, like, it came from passion. Everything we said, yeah, it was about passion and like fairness and like treat people as you would like to be treated like yeah. I feel like everything is related I and think me I, and media is a big part of it media is everywhere 10 hours a day on average think about yeah. it but uh I was, average I was just gonna say citizen. it's crazy that this is the most passionate one 
passionate one. And, and it's, it's I one. think it's our last, yeah, it's our last one. So, <laughs> hey, if you guys have questions for us to answer, like uh, discussion questions or anything, just leave them in like the, the comment box. Yeah, we're going to answer or, it for sure. Yeah, or we're just going to talk about whatever in the, the next podcast. Or But don't you worry. First, we're going to answer the question, but we're still going to be there because we have so many ideas that we can... <laughs> Also, hey, follow me on TikTok. <laughs> I'm, yes, in my tic- I'm in TikTok my TikTok. Yeah, I'm in my TikTok. Thank you, Soi Tiet. Hey, hey, sponsor me, Soi Tiet. Repost me on your, your story or something. <laughs> I, I love that guy so much. Really? Who is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Honestly, it was the first time yeah, that I heard you follow me on TikTok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that guy. Didn't know him. Look him up on Instagram. So it did. S O Y T I E. No. S O Y T I E T. Love that guy. Perfect. First, uh, first stop after this podcast. Yes. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So what you've been up to? We haven't talked this much, much this week. Oh no, we played Among Us the other day. Never mind. Yeah, we played Among Us like two days ago. That's true. And I love that game. <laughs> But honestly, I despise being the imposter because I, I really don't enjoy lying for myself. Because I, honestly, I never lie. In life, I never lie. And, and I that's never... cap. That's cap. <laughs> that's cap. No, but yeah. Cap. I never, I never lie. Like it's it. If I have to say something, I will say it. If I feel like you're doing something that I don't feel fair, I'm gonna say. I, I tell my opinion again. I feel like I'm pretty fair in everything I say so in Among Us I have to lie myself through like lie the whole time so people this, this don't is, this is Marie-Pierre every time I say I say uh, it's her okay hey hey Marie-Pierre are you are you the imposter no <laughs> no <laughs> a big ass <laughs> smile on her face she's like no it's not me <laughs> no but honestly I don't like it I don't like it no, because I was doing this task, so I was on the other side and I wasn't there. But honestly, sometimes I'm doing. I, I just want to say, I, I just want to say, you killed, you killed Caro the other day, and like, <laughs> <laughs> she was with you the whole time. But Tim, the thing the is, the whole, the whole time. I, I know, but I don't understand the game, honestly, because. I was doing my task, so if she vented, I didn't see her. I just saw her, like a. I just saw her in the corner, like the f- last 10 seconds, I will say, okay? She, and she then, couldn't have vented from there. I know, but Lepage got into my head in the sense that she said, well, there's I, no camera. Plus, two, y'all, so, didn't even didn't type in, y'all didn't even type in the, in the chat, so she couldn't know. She couldn't know you, you guys were. But the thing her. is, I forget that we, ha- we can chat because we always do it on... No, because I... usually I, I do it for her, but like I was dead. Yeah. Because usually That's I... That's what I, he I, deserved. I, I, you were dead like that. I died. Okay, okay. I freaking died. Seconds. No, I, I was doing upload and then she killed me right right there. I played 12 <laughs> seconds of the game. Yeah, but it was a good move on our part. It was Yeah, it was a good move. Yeah. I and at that, me, <laughs> I thought I was, when I got killed, I thought I was muted the whole time. Okay, the whole game. <laughs> honestly, I thought I, I really was muted. And like, I was going to say to my mom, my mom, oh my God, I had this. So she's playing such a good game right now. Like she's the imposter, but she's playing such a good game. And then <laughs> just see, because and you know, in the little box when you're playing, when you're on Zoom, and I just see screen <laughs> of your faces. You're like, you're not muted. <laughs> you're not muted. You're not muted. Oh my god, that was the biggest fail of all time. <laughs> but I was so proud of Ariane because she was really. I I was looking at her the whole time when I was a little ghost. And I saw that she was Ooh. doing like, she was, she was in a, doing such a good game. Like she, she really was doing it all. You would have, you wouldn't have caught her, honestly. She, I, she I knew was it was good. her though. I, yeah, but I don't understand. The thing is, I'm not perceptive. I don't understand why people are yeah, there or there or why they vented from here. And like, I don't, I don't know this well, nothing. Ba- yeah, basically the first map you can only vent like between uh, vents that are close to each other. So yeah. let's say electrical, you could vent to med bay and security. Those are the only three spots you can vent to. Electrical, you can go to med bay directly? Yeah, electrical, you can do uh, med bay or security. So, 
because basically those two vents are close to each other like it's a triangle okay. i didn't know and if 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 let's say um in reactors you have like the vent bottom in the bottom you can vent to like a uh, lower engine because it's next to each other but like saying that Caro vented from security to uh, navigation is not possible yeah but i think she could have vented to said, like yeah when she said there's no camera in o2 i didn't know because i'm i never look at the camera <laughs> never look at it and then when it was my turn to be the imposter i saw that i am and Lepage was both at the camera <laughs> and i killed them both there <laughs> So I didn't know the whole time. I hate the cameras. <laughs> he goes there once. He goes there once. Dies. <laughs> I hate oh, cameras. Dies. <laughs> Atta and wait. When it was really me, you and Carol, and you said, oh, I told her because she waited two seconds too long for the upload. Okay. So for sure it's To be hurt. honest, to be honest, I was like, I was saying it. I was like, that doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to go with it. Right? Because I, I for sure thought it was her. But like, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense if you stay longer. Because staying longer is fine because you're probably looking at your map. But at the time I was like, yeah, that, that, it doesn't make any sense. But Kiahu said it was her. So I just killed her. Right? Because I, ha I have to trust Kiahu. Because if not, she's going to be mad at me. <laughs> Dude, that, that was such a good move because I was like, yeah, Rosalie, it took two seconds. It took two you seconds just, yeah. too long, huh? But, uh, that was funny. And then was, after it was me was again, really I was, I despised you, you played that well that but time. it was me. Like, yeah, that was a you good that well. and I should, yeah. have, I should have like damaged their reactor so I would have won, but I didn't because I have, didn't yeah. know this, uh, this rule. But then it was me again and I just waited in the van to see someone like come in electrical and I was, Jose and I were just butting head like, Oh, it's you, it's you, I remember. It's you, it's you. And then I just see her coming in the room. <laughs> and then she's the first one. And then, <laughs> then I went it again. It was so funny because she was like, she was, I saw her face in the cabin. She was like, <laughs> uh. oh, man, that's such a funny game. Yeah, it's basically the the only game I know, and it's gonna be the only game I know for the next two years. I'm just saying. You're gonna play it for two years. Oh yeah, well, it's sure. it's pretty and fun though. In in with your friends. You know the thing is, you're gonna play with me for the next two years as well. So. Of course, it's 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 basically mafia. I love mafia. Oh man, that's my favorite, like story for. I, I love, love it. I love, werewolf, garou guys. If you didn't know. Wolves? Werewolves? Like, know, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I'm, say, I'm saying, because I said mafia, but like most people know it as a uh, Really? I didn't know. You didn't know that Lugiaru and mafia was the same thing? No. Oh. It's the first time I hear of it. It's the same That's thing. That's why I'm like, eh? <laughs> it's, it's the same concept. Damn. But Tim, how have you been this week? I've been okay. What did you do? It's been a nice day. Oh, I've been I've been completing my schoolwork and stuff. Really? Yeah. You have you been doing like the the classes the uh, the online classes from this summer? Yes, yes, I've started. Because did I need. You finish, I need... The, you finish the first assignment? Uh, almost. I have like uh, just one more paragraph to write. Nice. I'll be done. Yes. Yeah. And then I'm going to hop on the uh, module two. Do yeah. that again. Yeah. I'm happy I'm done with these classes though. But I still have to start four zero zero three. Just three? Oh, yeah, uh, well, which is oh the you one finished I'm both classes? Right yeah. Wow, cool. what a legend. Wow. But I took the extension because uh, for one of the classes, I said, okay, I'm, I'm just going to pay for one. And then I'm going to finish, like, I'm going to... Yeah, I remember you said that. Yeah, I finished adults first. And then I took the extension for, uh, I paid for the extension for, uh, like, uh, 4002. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I finished it, like, uh, the first two weeks of September. That's nice. Good for you. Yeah, because I didn't want to start. But it's, no, I still have one to do, and I'm kind of a... 
At least you can. I'm not in the mood anymore. <laughs> you can. That's you can probably thing. extend it though. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm gonna do it because I, I, I don't think I'm gonna. Well, I shouldn't because I only have two classes like online right now with the ECAM, so it's only like only have. You could do it, yeah, because technically it would have been your your. Uh, yeah. Your class with the uh, Madame Malokopiva. Yeah, but honestly, as soon as we're done with the recording and like it to tomorrow when we're done with the class, I'm gonna continue it because I I started it like Monday, so. I don't think it's long, but I just have to do it. I just have to put my mind to it. But I, I feel like I'm not in the online cl mood class right with Teluk anymore. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Because it's too free. <laughs> it's very free because at least um, the classes we have regularly is you have like Zoom classes and stuff. And imagine doing your like uh, doing your whole bachelor Teluk. Like those oh. people are good. You guys are good. If if you have a back at the look, you're good. Because yeah. I, 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 I don't think I would be able to do that. It's too oh. easy to not do your work. It's easy, but if you're always like taking extensions and like you're never gonna finish it. You can only take one extension. Really? Yeah. One time? It's only one time. I thought, what do you mean? For one for you no, mean for, one extension for the class. For, class. for the class, yeah. Oh. Man, I thought you were saying like. For oh my God! No, you're out. You're out. <laughs> no, 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 that would be dumb because it makes money to take in extensions. That's yeah, why you give extensions. Can we do it at UCAM? It's not the same. Oh. Well, I'm happy they don't do it because I I would have taken it. So I'm really happy they did not because now I'm on time. Like I'm on track to finish my bachelor. But I mean. Hey, hey, congrats. <laughs> Did you post your hey, picture yet? Hey, you too. You paid for what? Did you post your picture yet? Which picture? For uh, graduation. No, because the thing is, if I fail my, my fourth oh. internship, <laughs> like, am I going to stay Imagine. That dumb? Am I going to stay dumb on my profile picture for two years and like, I finished it, it, but I'm not finished? I, I... <laughs> That's true. I, and I, I you know, Nick said I was crazy. He said, "Like, come on, you're not first. You're not gonna fail it." And like, hey, second, bet, bet, watch me. The thing is, if you do, do I want to be that person who stayed like, well, most, posted yeah. a picture early? Maybe <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> you, you know, you you know, I would, I would, if if you posted and you fail, I would roast you every single day. I'm not gonna do it then. <laughs> I'm never it gonna is. do it. I know you're gonna pass though. You're fine. Mm. I knew what, like. Of course you're gonna pass. No, but I, I know, but. It's... I know, I know. I'm just kidding. No, I of course. know, I just wanted to fish for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're gonna pass because mm. the. They don't. They don't want you in the school. They're like, yeah, yeah. We'll give you the uh, the grade to pass. But you know, I I heard a story of my my um, CP said like I think for my third internship, my past internship, and he said that his I think student was a fourth year student, and like he didn't create one lesson plan for the whole nine weeks. Like all he all he did was follow the the book. And like he forgot to fo to go to the to make the the handouts to create the handouts or to photocopy the handouts for the class like ten minutes before he was sitting in the class the, in the teacher's room and was just like talking blah blah and my city was like oh did you did, did you, you print the, the uh, yeah the copy for the the handouts for the the, the lecture or the the class I would, I, I would oh no I forgot. I forgot he was like, oh my God, he go into going class right now and I'm going to do it for you. He did everything for him. Like, so, and he passed, he's, he still passed. And my teacher said, oh, I'm not going to be the one to fail him because it wasn't my, like my job, but I really recommended that he stay in school for another year, that, that he do it again. But the, Oh my goodness, I would have failed him. The ass. supervisor said, well, he's gonna learn. It's a process, so we're gonna. He's gonna pass. I was like, Oh my, oh my goodness! Goodness, can I have him? Can I have their supervisor? I want her for real, cause I feel like, eh, I would have. I could imagine I could, for. I could do my bare minimum and and get like an S plus. 
Oh, yeah, yeah. It's S, either S or E, right? Uh, for the... I think so, yeah. Oh, you That's know what that nice. means, right? If if it's an... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I would never. I would never. I would, I would never, never, but still, because I would have put pressure on myself, like, you need to get an A, you need to get an A, you need to get an A, and the whole time I would have done my, like... I, my I, do, I, I do 120%. I, I give yeah. 120% of my Same. my energy. And that's why I break down every week. <laughs> I don't know. Tim, ah! I, don't, I don't have a nervous breakdown throughout the, the, every, the internship. Every, I never. Every week. Really? Yeah. I, I feel like every week. Every. Yeah. It's going to be for nine it's weeks. Just... Accumulation. <laughs> nope. I, I tried. I, I, I asked for a uh, half C's. You would do like a. Uh, adults. For adults. the primary yeah. and. No, really? I'm doing no primary tripping. Uh, I'm doing uh, I'm high school uh, adults. If they, they allow adults. Yeah, it was complicated. If not, the, I think. But the thing is, if not, I, I just have a five week internship because I didn't sign up for another one. Yeah, but you're not going to pass. You're not going to finish your uh, bachelor if you just have I know, five. but like they never told me, they didn't tell me anything. I messaged them a few times. They never answered me. So but you I'm know what will happen though? Huh? You're just going to. You're just gonna finish your whole internship at the same place. Like you're gonna do the four weeks. No, definitely. At the same place. We're gonna do nine weeks there, probably. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine, but like. We should be at the. You should come and live in Saint Catherine oh. for the like. For the internship. Yeah. We will work out. We'll be so swole. Dude, my gym is almost ready. Yeah, right now. Be so I'm swole. Just gonna, I'm just gonna build a like a cage for the um, for my bar. Squat bar. Olympic bar. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't have it. There's the um on Amazon. It was like two hundred dollars. Yeah, I know. I wanted to buy it. I and you, you also have like the. Uh, you also have the um. Uh, I know. What's it called the the freaking uh, pull up bar. Yeah. Included I know. in it. That's nice. I want it. I think I'm gonna buy it because we did like create a space for it. So I think yeah. I'm gonna do it. And you know what's just next to it? I want to work out in your gym. <laughs> Yeah, it's nice and like I have it and all the like running what the tapir roulant what's it yeah treadmill sorry and I had this old one and it's just like a button that you push to uh, go faster and then you know the new ones it's like a button that you push 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 to go like faster yeah. and then when you <laughs> you want to get slower you have to push it you're you're not able to run anymore you're like that but this one is also, it's just a button that you push and then to slow, it slows like in five seconds. Oh my goodness, you're going to fall. <laughs> yes. That's funny. That's really favorite. bad for running though. Because you're like, if, you, if you're doing a long distance, you're supposed to like uh, start jogging and then start walking. I don't know. Man. I mean, I'm not doing long distance. I just did, did it Sunday because I wanted to prove myself that okay, I could do yeah. it. But never. I, whoa, it's like I do a, a sprint. Like one minute sprints or thirty second sprints, like this. I just, hey, you know what? I just realized the other day when we talked with uh, my cousin. Yeah. You guys were like, "Oh yeah, you should do sprints and stuff." And I'm like, "I'm not like, I'm gonna look dumb sprinting in front of my house and stuff." And then I realized I have I have a treadmill. <laughs> Why don't you do it? I know. I just realized like, hey, I have a treadmill. I could do that on my treadmill instead. <laughs> Can you show that? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm just built different. I'm just dumb. Built different. <laughs> No, but it's going to take you like 10 minutes to do it and it, you're going to feel so good about yourself after. I'm 100% not going to feel good about myself, but I'll do it. After, not, not during, after. We'll see. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to do it. I have to start working out again because you remember when I said I'll, I'll start working out? Well, that was a lie. Yeah. I did push-ups yesterday and I was like, yo, I can only do 25 right now. I used to be oh, able 25. to do 50. <laughs> Yeah, but it's good because I can even I I can only do five like with not on my knees. Oh, I'm not good. I don't have. You can develop it though. Yeah, yeah, no, but I think I'm still better than I was. But I feel like no, of uh, course. I wouldn't. Do you have 50. to. You have to do it. No, but it's fine doing it slowly because doing it slowly, it's, you're gonna build your muscles. Yeah. You should come train and train. We should me. train together, or we should call each other when we uh, work out. Yeah, I, 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 just next to the cage I want to put in in my gym. I have like the the rope, you know the rope. Oh thing? my goodness, I want the rope too. That that that's that's so fun hey. to do, but like it it's horrible. 
Like I hate oh it so much, God. but I love it so much. It's so hard. And I feel like it's really, it's about cardio as well. Cause like the whole time you, you're just pushing yourself and you're like, you can't do it anymore. And you're tired. Of, your arms are long, tired. But it's the longest your five lungs minutes are tired of my life. Well. Oh yeah. It's five minutes. Do it for five minutes. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't think so. I probably do it. I do it. I probably do it for like two minutes max. Yeah, but I feel like it's it's how we do it. It's we're doing. I, it I, I think it depends do. on like what what uh what other exercise you're doing though. Yeah, but it's a circuit. You know, your circuit. How do you say it? Is it? Yeah, circuit. 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 Okay. Yeah. It's you, first you do like 15 push-ups. It's like pulse push-ups. So it's three pulse. I, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't done the ropes in like two years. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, five minutes sounds legit. I don't, I don't remember. Five minutes? No, it's... I just remember it was hard. <laughs> when you do the rope, it's like three exercises. It's 20 seconds like this way. Oh, goodness. I, no, I, I definitely did not do two minutes then. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> this is such a long time. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Like, wait, that doesn't make any sense. Okay, like, I, I think I'm, I'm thinking of uh, doing the chair for two minutes. Okay, man, the chair is legit, I, but like the, the rope last for time, two minutes, it's the last impossible. Time I, did the, uh, I, I did like circuits like that. It was when I used to work out uh, with my cousin. Uh, he's a, a freaking uh, kickboxer trainer, right? Mm -hmm. Cardio kickboxing. And like he would always make us do like uh, those circuits. And it was always like two minutes uh, chair, two, like not two minutes of the rope, but like, I don't yeah. know how long it was, but like, he, he, he it's would, pretty long when you're tired. <laughs> he would push us for a long ass time. Yeah, but it's I nice. Sam. I feel like you, you, it's it's more fun to do it this way than to do like a two minutes, five stay five minutes at the ropes. Then oh yeah, uh -huh. five minutes at the chair. Five, like this way you do two minutes, but you do it. I agree. Like three times, yeah. So that's what I've been up to, huh? <laughs> building out, the gym. Just building the gym, working out and stuff. That's good. And good for you. Looking at Hunger Games, four of them. Four. This you watch movie. all of them, all four of them. I did yesterday. <laughs> four movies. I've never watched the last movie, but I've I've read really? the books though. I've read the books though. You should. Today so I know too. I, I know what happens. <laughs> no. Yeah. No, but it's, I I, the, I think the first two were, were the best ones. The first two movies. Yeah. I think so too. I I, I like After those I'm books. After I'm tired of looking at it, like it's the. It's always, it was the same it's thing. It's always over the same over like again. environment, right? Yeah. I don't. I feel like it's it's very difficult to binge watch movies, except for Lord of the Rings, because that mm, masterpiece. But um. Never looked at it. Never. Never watched uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. No. I don't know if you like. I don't know if it's your genre, but it's it's very. The story is very good. It's very long though. I should. Because you have like the extend extended versions as well, and. Well, if I have a boyfriend that really want to watch it, I'm going to do it. But sure if it's yourself. just for myself, maybe I'm not going to do it. <laughs> okay. But it's a, I, I like it. It's a, it's a good series. A, a good trilogy. Yeah. Well... You like it. Maybe you'll like it. You might like I'm, it. I'm kind of hard. Yeah, you know, I, I say I'm hard on movies, but like sometimes I'm just going to watch the like, most superficial movie on Netflix, Christmas movie. And then... I'm gonna. What's that one movie everyone be is watching right now with um, Emma Watson? Emma Watson, really? yeah. Yeah, it's a holiday. Holiday. Can you should uh? I saw my sisters were watching it the other day, and I was like, "Oh, it's Emma Watson." Yeah, but it's it's. I mean, it's not our best movie, but it's it's good in the sense that it's kind of a just a a light movie to get you through mm. the. It's a, it's it's a not, holiday movie. It's a holiday movie, you know. Yeah, movie. it's not a big experience. Like it's not the, it's not Avatar. <laughs> if we want to go back on Avatar, let's talk about Avatar again. No, I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but it's Avatar definitely is, something good. Avatar is futuristic uh, Pocahontas. I'll say it again. I don't care. Is it is it this year that we're gonna the second movie? I think yeah, it's the second 2021. Movie's gonna come out. The summer? Oh, maybe I'm not sure. I don't remember. Avatar. But, uh, Tim, we're gonna watch it for sure. Avatar two. Yeah. Initial release December sixteenth, twenty twenty one. So next year. Oh man, not again. So, like next year. When was it supposed to come out? Like a. Uh... Oh, this year. I don't know. Hey, it's. 
It says 2022, so it doesn't make sense. Ah, it's never gonna come up. My my question is my question is, what's the story? I, I thought you don't remember. No, what's gonna be the story of the second movie? You know what I mean? Because the first movie it kind of like ended well, and you're like, oh, cool, you can speculate. So, is the second movie just um Jake, um, living in the? Uh, Honestly, I don't remember how it. The world. What's the end? Yeah. No, basically he 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 merges with his avatar. For uh, for eternity. He becomes he becomes the um, I don't know what they're called. I don't remember what they're called. Avatar. Avatar, you know what an avatar is, right? Yes, avatar is I not know. The... I know you were gonna judge me. I saw. I av- saw it's like face. saying, "Oh, I love that movie. Uh, that rat named Ratatouille," which is hella funny to say. That's that's so funny to say. It's obviously not Ratatouille. His name is Rat. Just kidding. It's Remy. But um, Remy boy. Simple. Here is a channel, a podcast where there is no judgment. So, I'm not judging you. Well, uh, I saw it in your face, and I just want to say it. So maybe restrain you yourself next time. Hey, but you know what? I'm an pretty hurt is. right now. I just, I, all I said was, "Do you know what an avatar is?" Yeah, but do, no. Do you want to know how you said it? Say it. Oh, oh, we'll watch the clip. Face. We'll rewatch okay. the clip. Go ahead. Look at my face right now. It's. You know what an avatar is, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, you know you right? this way. But you know what an avatar is, right? No, no, you didn't. No, I know, no, 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 I know, I know. Eyes. That's not how I said it. But like right now, I'm asking you, do you know what an avatar is? Yes, I know what is an avatar. It's like something you like. Yeah, it's, it's like not a character. blue person. <laughs> I know, I know. It's like a character you build. Put like, some respect for on their name, even though I don't know what they're called. <laughs> you no, know, you're not better than me, so. I'm not, Watch it, I am boy. Not. Watch it, young the local man. Local tribe of the Navi. Navi, that was the name. I had I had Nathiri in my head, but like that's the name of the uh, mm-hmm. the main uh, the main girl. I believe you. I don't care if you don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. That was a fun. Yeah. We should do it sometime. Do what? <laughs> Are you free next week? To watch Avatar? We should, huh? We should watch uh, Ratatouille. No, I don't like this movie. You don't like Ratatouille? That's fine. Uh, I don't judge. Yeah. I, I, you learned. <laughs> no, but I, I, I don't care. Like, I, I hate when people say, like, you never watched this movie? Like, yeah, I've never watched that movie. You have to watch. I'm not going to watch it now. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, uh, feels like, <laughs> yeah. like uh, oh my goodness, you have to watch this. Like, I don't care. I don't care. I've never watched this movie. Deal with it. I'm gonna do what you want to do. I, I don't oh, care exactly. what I you listen to. I don't or care now. if you, you haven't watched it, if you don't like this music. Like, I'm not gonna push my my personal preferences towards, like, you know? Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's why we're all different. Like, it's, it's a good thing. That's why. <laughs> it's okay that's to be different. We're... Yeah, exactly. But you know, you know what else is good, also. Be, good. be the person your dog thinks you are. Oh man, I knew you were gonna say that. I was gonna say it. <laughs> like maybe it's, it's it's gonna go more in depth. But <laughs> all right, uh, I think we should end here. Yeah, of it's course. Been a, it's been a good hour what? or so. Oh, for I was sure. trying to calculate. I don't know like what time we started. I don't know, because time goes so fast with you. Like, so fast. I mean, it's such a blessing to be here with you today. But you know what we're doing with That's the cap. social distancing club? We still wouldn't have um, uh, met up to do this podcast. <laughs> what do you mean? But huh? we, we definitely wouldn't have met up to, to, to film the podcast. Oh, yeah, for sure. Probably would have done it in class. You remember when we said we, we should do it in class? Okay, I, no, I, I'm just going to stop now because we're, <laughs> we're going to go for another hour. But, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, hey, thank you, Matim Jain, <laughs> for listening to us once again. Yeah, don't forget to leave some um, 
questions you guys want us to answer or like talk like about and subscribe questions, topics thank you for watching this was tim and i'm mp yeah goodbye and see you next week <laughs> see you next week <laughs> bye <laughs>